Okay, so to change out your board, you come in, small screw right here, it's got a square bit head. You use a flat head screwdriver and pry uncomfortably on the edges. The first time you do it, it's very snug and feels like it's gonna break, but it just takes a little persuasion and unclips and comes off. So, for confirming your board matching up, if you get in there, you can look for that number, the 4135, and the new board, if you can see, also has a 4135 on it. So that's how you can confirm it. Then, once you're in to actually replace your board, there is one Phillips head screw right back there and one Phillips head screw on the same spot behind this fuse panel. To remove the fuse panel, there's one screw there and one screw there. That's all you have to remove to change out this whole entire board. Um, the switch is on the very bottom and once you remove that board, you can get to the screw that's hiding. Once you remove the fuse board, sorry. And uh, you move the two, remove the two screws and this back board kind of lifts up and comes out. Um, what you're looking at as far as wiring, and I'll show you on my old board, but all you have to remove is this white wire, which is just loosen a screw. Take your old wire out, put your new one in. This green wire, same thing, a screw. Remove your wire, put it back in. And then this black wire that runs up to your breaker, there's a screw right there. You loosen it, pull the wire out the bottom. This is my old board. So this is what you'll be looking at. So the three wires come just like this. So they're ready to just hook up where you need to. And then your other two wires come on your new board with the connectors on it. And they slip, you can see one of the wires. They have slip connectors where it goes onto the back of your fuse panel right here and right here. So with that loose, it's super easy to get to. So that's all the wiring you have to do is just remove your old wires and then take out your old board and then put in the new board. These wires right here run underneath there and it's just a clip. You take a small screwdriver, flathead, and you can push back on the little prong and it lets go. So again, it's simple as disconnecting it to take it out and clipping it in to put it back together. 